Big Shot Bob. Weird nickname, right? Surely there's a reason behind this title. Oh, here he is, standing around the championship trophy for the Rockets. Hey, look at that. They went back to back. Surely that's it, right? Here's Ginobili. Oh, they to Ori for three. Ball back. Ori. Three pointer. Buries it. Oh, shoot the ball. You gotta take that. Robert Ori. Oh. Okay, I guess there is a reason for that name. Robert Ori, often referred to as Big Shot Bob, is one of the most decorated players in NBA history. He's renowned for his clutch performances and his ability to shine in high pressure moments. So let's take a journey through Ori's career and explore each of his seven championship wins. Ori's journey to NBA greatness began in 1992 when he was drafted by the Houston Rockets as the 11th overall pick. With the 11th pick in the 1992 NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select Robert Horry from oh. University of Alabama. <laughs> Time for the curveball. Oh boy, Robert Horry. During his rookie season, Horry showcased his versatility, contributing as a forward with a solid defense and three-point shooting. In 1994, the Rockets secured their first NBA championship, and Horry played a pivotal role in that victory. His performance in the playoffs, especially his clutch three-pointers, earned him the nickname Big Shot Bob. Ori's success with the Rockets continued in 1995 as they secured their second consecutive NBA championship. Once again, Ori's clutch plays during the playoffs proved to be vital for the team. His ability to come up through critical moments earned him immense respect from fans, teammates, and opponents alike. In 1997, Robert Ori joined the Los Angeles Lakers, where he teamed up with legendary players like Shaquille O'Neal and Kobe Bryant. The trio formed a dominant force in the league, leading the Lakers to three consecutive NBA championships from 2000 to 2002. Ori's presence on the court added valuable experience and clutch performances to the team. Fast forward to 2004, Ori found himself with the San Antonio Spurs. In the NBA Finals that year, the Spurs faced the Detroit Pistons in a grueling series. Game 5 would become one of Ori's most memorable moments. With just seconds left on the clock, Ori hit a dramatic three-pointer, sealing the win for the Spurs and adding another championship ring to his collection. Ori will throw in. Player who throws in is frequently the player for whom the play is run. He comes in on the bounce to Ginobili. Back to Ori. He shoots the three. Oh, oh my goodness. Robert Ori hitting a three on the left wing with 5.8 left. And the Spurs take a one-point lead. And big shot Bob did it again. I can't believe that the man can do it anymore. How many bullets does he have left in that gun? Robert Ori's last championship win came in 2007 as the San Antonio Spurs faced the Cleveland Cavaliers in the NBA Finals. Ori's experience and clutch plays were instrumental in the Spurs' victory, and at the end of the series, he added his seventh and final championship ring to his impressive collection. Robert Ori's career is a testament to the importance of clutch moments and the ability to rise to the occasion during high-stakes moments. His seven NBA championships put him in an elite group of players, and he remains one of the most respected figures in the basketball world. Many young players look up to him as a role model for his work ethic, determination, and ability to deliver when it matters most. That concludes our journey through Robert Ory's seven NBA championships. From his early days with the Houston Rockets to becoming a key figure in the Lakers and Spurs' success, Ory's legacy will forever be etched in basketball history. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and let me know what other sports legends you'd like to cover. Here's Ginobili. Oh, to Ory for three.